A large portion of the Dr. Phil episodes with Summer Wells parents is in with the behavior panel. As part of a body language expert panel goes over their interview with Don Wells and Candace Bly and analyzes it. Ansley Daniels spoke with one of the experts on that panel, which you just saw here on News Channel 11 on the Dr. Phil show and found out whether or not they believe Summer's parents are telling the truth. Ansley. Josh and Pear, Sarah, the behavior panel has taken YouTube by storm. It's a group of four body language experts and behavior experts who analyze that body language and human behavior in videos of public interest. Now, they have analyzed Don Wells and Candace Bly several times, including our very own News Channel 11 interviews. Now, one of the panelists tells me that their latest experience on Dr. Phil across all of their analyses, they say that their thoughts are the same. We really didn't have a problem with Don. He seemed like he was being honest. It went ahead and, and solidified our thoughts on him having nothing to do with it whatsoever. Didn't didn't know anything about it. The experience on Dr. Phil, not all glitz and glamour for the parents of the missing five year old. We got in there. It, it, it she she was she got a little upset at with some parts of it. She was she was a, got a little emotional, particularly Summer's mother. There were red flags we saw. With, with Candace where she would when she w it just took a little bit too long to answer some questions and some questions just didn't sound like we got the right answer for him. It really hurts to see your other children crying. All right, I'll go first on this one. This is the one that really bothers me, which doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean that she's guilty or innocent or anything. It just those are the th we just saw some things and heard some things that um, made us question the validity of, of her answers. So he's really going through his mind. He is honest, I think, about trying to fly right. Together, the panel of four all have expertise in communication, body language, deception detection, interrogation, and resistance to interrogation. Did you have anything to do with Summer's disappearance? No, sir. But what they do for this is an interrogating. It's in no way an interrogation. It was just an information, a fact-finding mission, I guess you'd say. It was Now, to be clear, this group does not deem people to be guilty or innocent. Rather, they just look at their deception versus honesty, especially when it comes to the body language and how they act when they ask them questions. Great point. I mean, no suspects have been identified. No one's been charged. That's super important. We just saw, you just saw the second day of the Dr. Phil show. Anything learned in this second episode that you think is significant? So obviously yesterday, I think the big thing coming out was Cornbread Mafia and why did it upset Candace when it was brought up, Summer's mother. And I think today we were hoping to learn a little bit more about Cornbread Mafia and maybe why she reacted that way during her interview with the behavior panel. However, we didn't learn too much, right? We didn't learn much at all. And so today we here at News Channel 11 are going to dip into Cornbread Mafia coming up tonight at six about what that is. And I think another takeaway from today's episode though is Dr. Phil told both of them that he does not believe they have anything to do with what happened to Summer. However, earlier, I did speak with a criminal justice expert who tells us that while what he said is important, it's also the way he said it. He, Dr. Phil used some very specific language in the way he said that. So we're going to learn a little bit more about that coming up tonight at 6. But I think that a big takeaway from today is that Dr. Phil told both of her parents that he did not believe they had anything to do with what happened to their little girl.